Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the cast of one of the most iconic comedies of all time, National Lampoon's Animal House. This movie was released in 1978, and it tells the story of a group of misfit college students who rebel against their strict dean and their rival fraternity. The movie was a huge hit, and it inspired many other films in the gross-out comedy genre. But what happened to the actors who played the hilarious characters in Animal House? Let's find out. First, we have John Belushi, who played John Bluto Blutarski, the leader of the Delta fraternity and the most outrageous prankster. Belushi was already a star on Saturday Night Live before he joined Animal House, and he continued to make people laugh with his roles in The Blues Brothers, 1941, and Neighbours. Sadly, Belushi died of a drug overdose in 1982, at the age of 33. He is remembered as one of the greatest comedians of all time. Next, we have Tim Matheson, who played Eric Otter Stratton, the smooth-talking ladies' man of the Delta House. Matheson had been acting since he was a teenager, and he went on to have a successful career in both comedy and drama. He starred in movies like Fletch, Up the Creek, and a very Brady sequel, and he also directed several films and TV shows. He is also known for his roles as Vice President John Hoynes on The West Wing, Dr. Brick Breland on Heart of Dixie, and Ronald Reagan in Killing Reagan. Then we have Peter Regert, who played Donald Boone Schoenstein, Otter's best friend and Katie's boyfriend. Regert also had a long and diverse career in film, TV and theatre. He appeared in movies like The Mask, Local Hero, Oscar and The Good Liar. And he also directed and wrote some films. He won an Emmy for his role as Crocker Fenway on Damages. And he also starred in shows like The Sopranos, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Dads and One Day at a Time. Next up is Tom Holch, who played Larry Pinto Kroger, the naive freshman who joins the Delta House. Hulch is best known for his Oscar-nominated performance as Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart in Amadeus, but he also starred in movies like Parenthood, Frankenstein, and Jumper. He also voiced Quasimodo in Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hulch has also been active in theatre as an actor and producer. He won a Tony Award for producing Spring Awakening, and he also produced American Idiot and Fun Home. Moving on to Stephen First, who played Kent Flounder Dorfman, the chubby and clumsy pledge who becomes Bluto's protege. First continued to act in comedies like Up the Creek, St. Elsewhere, Babylon 5, and Scrubs. He also directed some movies and TV episodes. First died of complications from diabetes in 2017 at the age of 63. Next, we have Bruce McGill, who played Daniel Simpson D-Day Day, the motorcycle-riding rebel of the Delta House. McGill has been a prolific character actor in movies like My Cousin Vinny, The Insider, Lincoln and Ride Along. He also starred in TV shows like MacGyver, Quantum Leap, The Legend of Bagger Vance and Rizzoli and Isles. Then we have James Widows, who played Robert Hoover, the president of the Delta House, and the voice of reason among his friends. Widows transitioned from acting to directing, and he has helmed over 100 episodes of various sitcoms, including Two and a Half Men, The Big Bang Theory, Mom, and Young Sheldon. Next up is Karen Allen, who played Katie, Boone's girlfriend, and one of the few sensible characters in Animal House. Alan is famous for her role as Marion Ravenwood in the Indiana Jones franchise, but she also starred in movies like Starman, Scrooge, The Sandlot, and Year by the Sea. She has also been involved in theatre and directing. Moving on to Donald Sutherland, who played Dave Jennings, the cool professor who smokes pot with his students and has an affair with Dean Wormer's wife. Sutherland is one of the most respected actors in Hollywood, with a career spanning over six decades. He has starred in movies like M.A.S.H., Ordinary People, The Hunger Games, and The Undoing. He has also won two Golden Globes and an Emmy Award. Finally, we have Kevin Bacon, who played Chip Diller, the smug and snobbish president of the Omega fraternity and the leader of the Delta's rivals. Bacon was a newcomer when he joined Animal House, but he soon became one of the most recognizable actors in Hollywood. 
He has starred in movies like Footloose, A Few Good Men, Apollo 13, and Mystic River. He has also won a Golden Globe and an Emmy Award for his role in Taking Chance. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane and learned something new about the cast of Animal House. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Grand Peoples for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.